Guys, let's hop right into it. This is going to be a quick one. I will not hold you up. In that last video, I mentioned briefly about just being undeniable. I just wanted to go in just a little bit more and really drive that home. What being undeniable means, what it means to me, what I want, why I want you guys to embody being undeniable. It doesn't matter where you go, what networking event, interview, situation, whatever it may be, you are so well prepared. You are so equipped with the tools necessary for whatever that situation is, that if they were trying to, to put you down, not show you love, not give you the opportunity, close those doors, it's not going to happen. Because you're so undeniable, you're so well equipped. You're so on point, you're so razor sharp that they have to let you in. And I scream that and I'm, I'm a big proponent of that because I don't want you guys to feel because where you come from, what situation you're in, that that's it, that defines you. That's gonna be the most opportunities you'll be able to get. And I say that because I used to be like that. I used to be victim mindset complaining. It's because I'm this. It's because I don't have this connection, this resource. I had to flip it and acknowledge, yeah, I don't have these resources. I don't have this contact, but I can level up my skill sets. What can I control? What skill sets can I level up? So it doesn't even matter. You're still going to let, let me in regardless. What areas do you need to level up? That's why I'm always screaming level up, guys. I know that's like a cliche where we hear it, but it means building the skill set constantly, using the tools, creating the tools, having the tools necessary. So when, as soon as you open the car door, as soon as you hop out, you are already making it clear. That's why I always tell you guys, the workouts, it's a tool. It's not just about we're getting swole at the beach. Because when you embody that, and you embody that discipline, and that resilience and, and that commitment to do your workouts, to do your 5 a.m. workouts, whatever time you're going, that's gonna be displayed to everybody. And you're making a statement without saying one word, but you're saying everything. You understand what I'm saying? Like, do you get that? I want, it, I want you to be that powerful that from the time you are walking through the door, you are already making it clear. This is what time I'm on. And when they test you or they, they want to see, okay, let me see if he really knows what he's talking about. You're just giving them the business. That's being undeniable to where it's like, okay, I can't, I can't get this guy. And it is that extreme. And some people will say, oh, it's too much. I can't do it. Well, I'm not content with where I'm at. I'm not satisfied until I, I'm able to help more people and be able to get this message across. And for me, I have to be extreme because I have to set my bar higher because you guys are setting your bar, your bar is higher and we have to reach more and I have to reach more. So I have to be extreme. And also I have to be extreme in my discipline extreme in my belief at times when it was looking a little crazy and I didn't think I was like, I don't know about this one. I might not make it. I had to be extreme. You guys know I'm an extremist. Yeah, it has to be that extreme. Are you content with where you're at? Are you happy with where you're at? Do you want to level up? Do you want to grow? Do you want to grow so you can help others? You want to grow so you can help the ones that you love? That's what I think about. And it's going to take me to be extreme because when I was just teetering, <sighs> I'll be disciplined Monday through Saturday. That's not going to cut it. But then I'm wondering why it's not, it's not coming to me. Why? Why the things that I want, it's not happening. That's why I also say it's when the cameras are off and there's nobody around and the, the decision that you make, that's where it's really going to count. Who are you 
And are you going to continue to be undeniable when no one's looking? Or are you just trying to be undeniable when the camera is on? I want you guys to get that mirror, put it in front of your face, do the self audit like I do every day. Where's the area that, okay, I need to add more here. But that's why it's necessary to have that accountability. That's why it's necessary to be that committed, to be that driven, because it requires work. That's why I show up for you guys. That's why the, you know, I do the little TikTok video showing up at the gym. It's not so you guys could just see how swole I am. And like, I don't care about any of that. It's I'm letting you guys know I'm showing up with you. Just like I show up here. I'm showing up, I'm showing up, I'm showing up. My extreme and me being extreme is what allowed me to go, go from shooting just from an iPhone in my driveway, in a car, going nowhere, miserable. To where now you've seen the trajectory and we're still not done. Because there's more people who needs to hear this. You know, I'm I appreciate, you know, we've been getting a ton of new people tapping in. I appreciate you guys, but that only confirms there's more work to be done. Oh. All right. There's more work to be done. And I take that challenge. So I'm just gonna leave you guys with that. Be undeniable. Be undeniable so they can never deny you. When they close the door, no, 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 no. Open the door back up. Or you know what? I might just build my own door and go through it. And now you got to come through my door. I'll leave you guys with that. I appreciate you. More videos are on the way. Let's